In this video, we'll talk about the new way Guitar Pro 6 handles drum notations. If you're used to Guitar Pro 5, you're probably used to using tabs to enter your drums. Guitar Pro 6 changes this to allow you to enter more variations in the sounds that you're using. Let's start by adding a new track to this project, which will assign drums. To do this, I'm going to click on the menu Track, Add, and I'm going to select Drums. The drum notation is very similar to the standard notation. In order to enter a new note, simply select the line or the space you want to use and use one of the numeric keypads to enter the note. Contrary to a tab, the numbers of your keypad are not going to correspond to a fret number, but to a variation. Let's get more familiar with the different types of variations we can use. To do this, let's use the View menu, Fretboard, Keyboard, Drums. This will show you all the keyboard shortcuts you can use to enter your variations on the drum track. This window will show you all the different articulations available and will also show you which key on your numeric pad to use. Hitting the key 1 will simply play a snare hit. The key 2 will play a rim shot. The key 3 will play a side kick. And that's how you can enter quality drum tracks with your favorite software.